Uh, I'm, in, I'm here. This is me on the, on the poster. On that poster? That's yeah. you? Yeah. Very small. What opera is it? That was a concert, actually. That was one of our Zengerkrieg, the, where we battle it out for audience votes. <laughs>I wanted to move to Germany because I wanted to sing and I knew that I wouldn't be able to have the singing career that I wanted in New Zealand. I knew that there wasn't enough for me to do, that it was such a small pool and in Germany um, there, were, uh, there are so many opera houses that are government funded which weren't crashing in the recession of uh, the end of 2008, early 2009. So it made a lot of sense to come over here. Um, I was at a point in my singing where I felt like I had done everything I wanted to do in New Zealand. I'd finished my studies and I'd sung for the New Zealand Opera Chorus and had a great time and was ready to go overseas. And I was just really lucky because at the time I was dating a German boy uh, who said, yeah, I want to go back to Germany as well and study and yeah, get back to the homeland. So we came over together four years ago and then we got married. <laughs> so it's a good reason to stay. Things are incredibly different here. It would have been so much easier to go to England. I would have fitted in and, and known where I was and what I was doing and I could have communicated with people a lot easier. But I took the hard, <laughs> the more complicated route, but I'm so glad I did. I'm so glad I did because we did something different from our friends and from the other singers in New Zealand who were all going to English speaking countries. I, I'm proud of myself for choosing the more difficult path and I'm proud of myself for having stuck it out as long as I have and having achieved those goals that I set for myself in the very beginning to sing. What about your German today? <laughs> My German today? Uh, yeah, look. There is a difference between fluency and accuracy. So I can speak very fluently all day if I have to. Um, and I'm particularly good after a beer. After a beer, my German is perfect. However, <laughs> as I say, it's not always accurate. And there are, there are some things in German that I, I truly don't think and a non-native speaker is ever going to come to terms with the masculine, feminine, neutral, yeah, with all of the nouns, der, die, oder, das, um, trying to get your adjective endings right. The grammar is really hard and I, I don't think you're ever going to be perfect. So I do my best. Uh, and when I got this position here, I showed up to my first rehearsal and my German was so terrible, I wondered how I was going to get through the day because I, I really didn't know what people were talking about and trying to take direction, for example, from, you know, on the stage, people saying, yeah, go left, go right, turn here, pick this prop up. I, I, I didn't know what they were talking about. I just pretended that I did. <laughs> I just kept smiling and nodding and eventually I found my way. Um, so we have an expression in English to, to throw yourself in the deep end. Um, to go into something really no idea what you're doing and you just got to start swimming. Which is what I did. But I actually think this is a skill that New Zealanders have. It's in our nature to go into an uncertain situation and just start swimming. Just start making it up. <laughs> However, you've, you've really got to have a distinction between the German that you use in every day and at the supermarket and with my friends in the pub and the German that I use in the theatre. The German that I use in the theatre, um, for example, Wagnerian German, uh, yeah, this is kind of the equivalent of Shakespearean English. You don't use this German in day to day. Uh, and there's a lot of words that even native German speakers have no idea what they mean. So you look up a, Shakespeare, uh, a, a Wagnerian word online to find a translation and it says uh, no translation found because the word really hasn't existed in the German language for 200 years. <laughs> 
but it is a really fun party trick to pull out some Wagnerian German and to have German people going, I really don't know what she's talking about. <laughs>